Usually during Remembrance Day, we have one minute of dedication, one minute of silence of dedication to the fallen soldiers of World War One and World War Two. Now, as we all know, not all poppies are red. There are different coloured poppies representing different things. So you've got the main red poppy that most people wear, but you've also got the purple poppy as well, which is to represent fallen animals such as dogs, cats, horses, pigeons, etc that died during the world wars as well. Rest in peace old speckled Jim, you're gone but not forgotten. We also have the black poppies as well, which are apparently to represent black soldiers that may have died during World War I and II as well. And we have the white poppy, which represents pacifists that died during World War I and II as well, and I believe civilians and people like that as well. I'm not 100% on that one, or the black poppy either, with the fact that they feel just generally unnecessary, the red poppy already represents everyone that died during World War One and Two. It doesn't exclude white people or anything. So I question whether these last two poppies are necessary or not. And in many ways, they just feel like they're there to make money off Remembrance Day and just to make money for different organizations that probably have nothing to do with Remembrance Day at all, for all we know. Now, they are the four main poppy colors that I know of. Red, white, purple, and black. I don't know of any other colors, so if I have missed any, be sure to leave them in the comments section or something. But talking about different poppies, different coloured poppies representing different people, let's have a talk about the LGBT poppy, or the rainbow poppy. Because there's been a lot of news surrounding that poppy over this last week. The so-called LGBT poppy has faced backlash after it has been claimed it disrespects fallen soldiers. In 2016, LGBT poet laureate Trudy Halson introduced the concept of a rainbow poppy. She apparently said, the rainbow poppy is a campaign I'm running to bring attention to the brave soldiers who died for our country during World War I at the time when their sexuality was still criminalized. Again, it comes back to that same thing I mentioned a moment ago. The red poppy already represents everyone. It's not singling out homosexuals or anything like that. So again, it just feels like another cash grab in many ways, or it's just trying to force LGBT into something that has nothing to do with it. The design is been seen as controversial by many. A number of critics took issue with the colourful poppy, urging the LGBT plus community to get some respect. One Twitter user apparently wrote, I'm not in any way homophobic, but this is getting beyond. Another person apparently said, the red poppy is in memory of all soldiers during the world war. The poem Flanders Fields states why. That's pretty much what I said a moment ago. He's pretty much summed up what I said. Another person said, Pride has a whole month to raise awareness. Soldiers who died and fought for us have one minute a year. Get some respect. Okay, that is pretty much bang on point right there. We have one minute a year of silence for the fallen soldiers of World War One and Two, and the LGBT people can't even seem to stay silent even then. Another Twitter user by the name of Trevor Colt MC said the same thing as well. If you're gay, bi, trans or whatever, I don't care. You have a pride month to celebrate who you are. Please don't take over the one day a year where I get to remember my friends and all those that died for this country. Leave the poppy alone and have some respect. So, this seems to be coming from the perspective of a former soldier here. It's understandable why he would not be happy with this this LGBT poppy right here. But that's not even the core issue with this. If you wanna wear one of these rainbow poppies, you wanna spend money on one of these things, so be it, it's your money, you can do whatever you want with it. The main issue is when you try to tell other people to wear them, whether they want to or not, which seems to have been the case surrounding this teenage girl right here. Teenage girl suspended from school for refusing to wear pro-LGBT Remembrance Day item. A 17-year-old girl by the name of Natalie Ford has been suspended from school for refusing to wear a Remembrance Day poppy containing a rainbow in support of LGBT plus causes. According to another article, the girl is the cousin of a former conservative representative from northern Mant Manitoba, Ciara Bird. Ciara Bird announced the news of her cousin's suspension on social media following her rejection of the newly added rainbow into the traditional red and black poppy to commemorate the millions of young soldiers who lost their lives in the two world wars. According to that same article, Natalie and another student voiced their reproach towards the idea of infusing the LGBT rainbow 
into the poppy as disrespectful to those that lost their lives. As a result, she and the other student were sent to the headmaster's office where they were punished for their positions. Ciara Bird apparently tweeted, My 17-year-old cousin was suspended today. Want to know why? Her quiet was demanding that the choir wear rainbow poppies during their performance in the Remembrance Day ceremony. She and another student rejected the idea and both were suspended for hate speech because everything is hate speech these days. Bird alleges that the school had urged her cousin to remain hushed over the decision to suspend her until after Remembrance Day. So in other words, they threatened her to make her stay quiet because she did something, because she refused to do something that they wanted her to do. This is apparently what Natalie, the girl that was suspended, apparently said. They accused me of hate speech and endangering the physical safety of the group of individuals, LGBT students. They asked me what I was thinking and I told them everything. I said I was just voicing my beliefs and morals. She went on to say the two male administrators continued to accuse her of hate speech and she became so scared at one point that she was on the verge of tears. I got to the point of almost crying but I didn't. I had to be the voice of all those families who were greatly disrespected and offended. Natalie claims that she tried to record her conversation between herself and the school staff over the decision but her phone was taken away from her or confiscated. Natalie continued to say, so I asked why, why am I being suspended and punished for expressing my feelings and they said, everybody is entitled to their own beliefs, opinions and way of life. So I asked, why am I not? Now ultimately when you start policing what other people can and can't wear, that is when you have an issue. If you want to spend money on one of these LGBT poppies or whatever, you want to give your money to them, so be it, it's your money, you have the freedom to do that. The problem though is when you start telling other people what to do, telling people to wear one of them whether they want to or not. In other words, policing what people can and can't wear. These are the kinds of people that can't even stay silent during the one minute of silence that we dedicate to the memories of those fallen soldiers. That is how self-centered these people are. It's all about control with these people. And when you don't do what they say, they will call you this or that. They will call you homophobic or they'll call you anti-LGBT, accuse you of hate speech and all of that stuff. The last thing you can do is ultimately listen to them. If you want to wear a red poppy, then you are allowed to. The last thing you should do is listen to these harpies right here. But ultimately, people, be sure to let us know what you think about this down below. What are your opinions on the rainbow poppies? Be sure to let us know what you think about these down below, all right? All right, gentlemen, this has been Lord Flashheart. Be sure to rate, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again. Cheerio.